All right, everybody, so mommy's favorite finally arrived after what felt like forever. But um, she is the third and last animatronic that I needed to complete the most hated animatronics of 2020. So I'm that's one reason I'm happy to have her. And obviously, I have really wanted her since she was initially released. I just never got around to buying her. So we're finally going to get her out of the box. And this is a very small box. Like it's here it is compared to my hand and it's very tiny. It's like a cereal box almost. So um, mommy's favorite constant side to side motion says a whispering phrase stands 3.5 feet tall. Mommy's favorite says a whispering phrase. In the back, there's her price tag and then her name with her story and then the little diagrams. Other side it says constant side to side motion. Another picture of her. All right, so let's get her out. And I'm scared to death because I really hope mine does not have a deformed face. If it does, I will try to fix it. But if it doesn't, then well, I hope I'm lucky. Typically, with my luck, I do get decent looking faces. But um, I something will always be fucked up. So either I'll end up with a decently sculpted head, but the the eyes will probably be like crossed or something. You know, I can't do that with a hand. Anyway, as I was saying, um, you know, the eyes could be crossed. The uh, wig would be messed up something. I don't know. Ask Dr. Zombie. Oh boy, here she is. It's been a while since I've seen her, obviously, since, you know, it's not, the stores aren't open anymore, but oh. All right, so we've got this. It's just for packing. Her instructions. Oh, goodness, I really hope my face looks like that. Probably not. Just watch. All right. Her shushing arm. Let's see, what can I get out next? Oh, we can just tip it over and then just slide it all out. Oh my god, we're gonna see the face. We are going to see the face. I'm so scared. Alright. I'm sorry about this. Alright. Here's the rest of her. Let's look at the head. Oh my god. It could have been a lot worse, but <laughs> the side is completely curving inward. Oh my god, how does this happen? And it. That is a very solid head. How the hell does this happen? Like, <laughs> whatever. I know there's ways to fix it, so obviously I will do that soon. All right. And then we got her control box. And um, just random little facts. This is my first uh, party time animatronic as well as full on constant motion animatronic. Right. And then this is all just the rest of her. All right, so we got her out. And right there we have the head, the adapter, shushing arm, base, um, her control box, and then her body which is where all her mechanisms and her other arm is already attached. So I'm going to get her set up and then we'll be back for the first um, test run. All right, so I finally got her set up. It was a pretty easy setup. I just took a bit of extra time to um, make some adjustments. Like the shushing arm wasn't quite in the up to her mouth. I might still adjust it because I don't want it to end up looking like she's picking at her nose. But um, yeah, this face is going to need to be fixed. But the details in the eyes are actually really, really neat. Like, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up, but they, you can see the red little veins in it. Like, her eyes are bloodshot, so she hasn't been sleeping for some time. I really like the design on her dress. This, the weird thing is, this is the poseable arm, but this one is set wherever it is. But, whatever. She is turned on. I do have her volume low. 
So without further ado, we are going to plug her in. So she should just go off. I don't want to wake up my mother. She's been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? <laughs> You don't want to wake up my mother. She's been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? <laughs> so that was mommy's favorite. Despite the deformities in her head, I am pretty happy that I got her. Um, one thing I really like is that she's actually decently tall. Like, they aren't lying when they say she is about, like, like a uh, three foot eight or what does the box say the box says three foot five the website says 3.8 i'll measure her to make sure which one's right but at least she's not like super duper tiny which i'm happy about um what else do i have to say i really like how this arm tends to shake a little when she moves and uh, her audio quality is good mine is a little bit scratchy but that's fairly common with all of them um, there is unfortunately no speaker jack, which I was actually disappointed by. I wasn't sure if I was told about that already, but overall I'm happy with her. She is um, probably my sixth favorite of 2020, um, right behind Angeline. With owning both, I'll see who like who I end up liking better, but so far I think I still like Angeline more. Um, but that's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching this really bad unboxing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.